What is up guys? So for today's video is ituturo ko sa inyo ang basic mixing workflow. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so let's say meron kang client or maybe ikaw ang nagmimix ng song sa group mo. Sometimes magsisend sila ng ganto Folder with beat or instrumental and separated na dun yung vocals. And minsan naman naka full project session. So in this case, naka separate ang full beat and vocals. I will divide this into two phases. So this is phase 1 which is preparing and organizing the mix. Open natin yung DAW. In this case, I will be using FL Studio. You can still choose kung uh, whatever mixing software na meron kayo. This process is still the same naman sa lahat ng DAW. Okay, so I will drag all the instruments onto the timeline. And the first thing na gagawin ko is to set the session to the correct BPM. Kasi if plinay ko ito, hindi tugma yung BPM. So to fix this is pretty uh, simple here in FL Studio. Just left click lang dito, detect tempo. For this, I usually select atong 100 to 200 range. And right away, it will tell me na nasa 158 BPM etong kanta or etong beat. Setting up the correct tempo or the BPM of your song kasi will help you properly time yung mga delay plugins ninyo. So next is i-color code natin itong mga instruments. So I will make a combination of blue and purple. Next is I will select the channel rack and then select itong mga instruments. Then hit Ctrl plus L to send this all sa designated mixer insert nila. The same process lang din dito sa vocals. Itadrag ko lang sa timeline. Setting up the colors, I always like my vocals to be green and then put them also mixer. And now we are in phase 2 which is the mixing process. At dito na din magsisimula ang real mixing process natin. In my process before I start to mix, piniplay ko muna yung whole track. Simply because I want to know what this song is about. And while I'm listening to it, ina-analyze ko rin as well kung ano mga dapat i-improve sa mix. But for the sake of this video, di ko na siya ipi-play ng full. Just a small part lang. Ibo man kami sa typical. Kailangan nga namin di daw normal. Kung tawagin nila ay abnormal, mas formal. Pag normal, mga tao na hangal. Tawag nila siya when I believe. I believe. And after ko na preview yung track, I will add markers dito sa timeline para ma-identify ko kung saan banda ang verse pre-chorus, chorus, and yung bridge ng ganda. So, I noticed that yung beat was already in a good levels. So, di ko na siya gagalawin. Since this video was designed for all the beginners out there, I will make the vocal chain very simple lang. The way I mix in every vocals ay dapat merong first is EQ, second compression, third is effects, just like reverb and delays. So yung tatlo na yan ang very important for me to uh, mix vocals. It's up to you if gusto nyo pang dagdagan ng EQ just like surgical EQ or any other processing. But in this video, like I said earlier, this was designed for all the beginners out there. And also, all of the plugins na gagamitin ko is stock lang. So for the first plugin in the chain is getting an EQ. Now I will insert a parametric EQ2. Low cut lang tayo. And then boost the highest content. Maybe sweep a little bit sa mga harsh frequencies. Okay, 
namin par Tawag nila sa amin ni Maliw Pinatulan mo so mas maliw ka Next is compression I will use fruity compressor 4 to 1 ratio Minus 16 sa threshold Fast attack and fast release Soft type And then let's boost konti dito sa gain Tawag nila sa amin ni Maliw Minsan ay praneng may tililing na Tama yung hinalam mo appear Mas maganda kung mag-disappear ka Kung di nyo mag-get sige alis So tweak nyo lang ang mga settings until makuha nyo na yung desired na level na gusto nyo Moving on to the last part which is adding effects I will use Fruity Reverb 2 Itaas lang natin itong wet knob And simply adjust to your taste lang dito sa mix level knob Next is let's add fruity delay too. I will make this as a ping pong type, fully panned. I just contest a cut of frequency and then I will set this to a quarter note delay. And also for this, just use paring atong uh, mix level knob to adjust the overall effect and delay. Alright, so we are done making our vocal chain. Very simple lang. Like I said, we can still add more plugins if di pa kayo satisfied sa vocal mix nyo. We can add an exciter or saturator plugin. Just like Sound Goodizer. Tawag nila sa amin ay baliw Minsan ay praneng may tililing na Tama yung hinalam mo appear And also fruity chorus para mas mag-wide pa yung impact ng lead vocals natin Tawag nila sa amin ay baliw Minsan ay praneng may tililing na Tama yung hinalam mo appear Mas maganda kung mag-disappear ka Kung di nyo mag-get sige alis and munti ko na makalimutan itong Maximus pala. This is for DSing the vocals. Tawag nila sa amin ay baliw. Minsan ay praneng may tililing na Tama yung hinalam mo appear. Mas maganda kung mag-disappear ka Kung di nyo mag-get sige alis. Just repeat this process lang sa other vocals and always remember to adjust the levels kasi if sa background vocals or doubles na ang imimix ninyo, most of the time mas mahina yung levels niya compared sa lead vocals. Tawag nila sa amin ay baliw Minsan ay praneng may tililing na Tama yung hinalam mo appear Mas maganda kung mag-disappear ka Kung di nyo mag-get sige alis and that is basically it guys on my takes a simple mixing workflow for uh, beginners i do hope you learned something new Okay, so thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Happy mixing and bye-bye.